Hey, welcome back to the workshop. I've got some good progress going on the seat covers. Uh, so these are from Profit Automotive Interiors, which is a shop out in Alabama, and they did a great job. Um, not a promotional video, I paid for them, but uh, the quality is great. It's like the same exact fit as the original, um, and they really seem to know their stuff. Uh, they knew that, uh, the guy knew that my back bench seat in the 66 Buick was a little different. And, uh, he actually had me send him the old seat cause he didn't have a template for it, I guess, cause it's kind of rare. So he made a new template with my old one. And, uh, so far it looks pretty good, right, right out of the box, but this is a passenger side seat. It's the seat back, just like that one. That's a driver side went on pretty nicely. Um, I've never done a seat before, at least not like this. I did a pickup bench seat once, but um, it's a little bit different process. There's some good YouTube videos out there that I watched that I'll, I'll post in the, in the comments, but uh, yeah, I got my hog rings on there, um, stretched it, went on real nice. Got my uh, listing wires. That's a recommended thing. You run a it's a paper covered wire or a listing wire. They use them in upholstery. Um, you run it through this, these pockets, these channels here. So the hog rings have something to, to hold. Otherwise, as you're really stretching it to try to get it to, to get into place, you know, you can just rip right through the fabric. So um, that was a good recommendation from those videos I watched. And also, I got my heated seat pad on there. I'm going to have heated seats on this. Um, they'll be well hidden. It's all going to look original. They'll be inside the console center console. Uh, so let me show you what I got over here. This is the, the bottom part of the seat and I'm redoing it the way that they originally were done. So the fronts, the old fronts down here, can't really see it, but you got your foam and then you've got cotton batting with like a piece of fabric over the top of it. Cause this is just, it's like raw cotton. It'll just pull apart. So they've got that fabric and it's, as far as I can tell, it's just glued like contact cement or something. Cause it's not hog ringed in. It's not stitched. It just lifts right up. So I'm replicating that over here. I got a, a roll of, you know, natural raw cotton. And because it's going under the seat, you know, I got the, they call it the dirty or the, you know, it's got more seeds and, and pieces in it. Cause it's, you know, it's real cotton. Um, and it doesn't have to look nice cause it's just going under the seat. But, uh, in one of my other videos, I showed kind of how it's done. The way they did it was, uh, you know, you got your, your burlap layer on top of the springs and then you get your cotton batting that goes on top of the burlap. Then you got your foam that goes over the cotton. And then what they do is, uh, this is what I'm working on now is on the original front seat there. They had the cotton batting on the edges just here, I guess, to, you know, bolster the, uh, the, the hips uh, of the seat, you know, to give it a little bit of an edge. Um, and what I did on the, the seat back there is all I did is I laid the cotton down like this and then uh, got it into position. You just flipped it, uh, did contact cement, uh, Super 77 spray, uh, the con spray contact adhesive. Sprayed it here and here, let it tack up for 30 seconds, flip it back, let it dry into place, and it holds pretty well. You can't, you can't pull it around, obviously. It'll just tear the cotton apart. And then I took some thin fabric, um, something like old sheets works well. And then I do the same thing, cut my strip to size so it can go over the top and kind of around the bottom. And then I flip it up. Same thing. I spray one side of the fabric with the spray adhesive, spray this, spray over here, underside the, the foam, and then I just stick it and wrap it around and it holds. Um, again, you're going to be putting the seat cover over it, which will really clamp it down into place, but it's, it's good to keep it from moving it around. And, uh, you know, you got to clean, clean that up. You want it a little bit tucked under there, but you don't need all that extra but yeah, it's coming together. I got a little more uh, tucking in here to do. Um, there's some pieces that uh, get hog ring to a, a trim adapt a trim piece that goes along the hinge. But yeah, it's coming along. I'll share with you 
uh, my progress as it comes. So thanks, everyone. Good night.